My name is Donald Tucker and I am a student of the Geisel High School. I live in a district called Springfield which is between Geisel and Highgate in a lane called Mud Lane in a two bedroom house. One of the rooms room is full of accoutrement, the other has two bed, one for me and my sister and the other for me and my, for my mother and my father. It is a board house and a concrete structure with zinc roof. My father put a chapalin under the zinc to take off the night dew and if rain happens to fall, it takes off the water off us and the bed. Because it's a board structure, when the rain falls very hard, the rain blows in through the board and wets up the floor. Because it's a concrete floor, my mother put cardboard and oil cloth on it so that you don't catch up cold in our foot. Because it's an outdoor bathroom, we have to use a pail during the night and empty it in the morning. So in time we have to use the bathroom, we have to go outside. So if rain a fall, we have to wet up because down there are a leak and thing. So in time rain fall, we have to go down there because down there wet up and cold. In the morning, my father has to wake up by 5 o'clock for we'll catch a fire because of wood fire. And so I tell me who then call, and who then call, they now will catch. So, so, so I tell me one good while in there, I fan it, I fan it, we catch, so I can make tea. The final catch, we have to go to school without tea. And so I tell me we just now not full of worth of tea. So I say that, go to school without breakfast. I tell me school now, and lunch time come. We come up on the part program, we get one lunch. But I say COVID, the part program, they pan pause. And my mother now have it, forgive me. For give me lunch money, so I just go in the corner and drink my water and go to my next class. Delano is very persistent. Everything he tries to do, he do it to the best of his ability. So how is it like going, going this young man? It was not very hard because he, he learned very quickly and when you tell him to do things, he just do it. Like he understand things from me was a little bit younger. It wasn't too hard. So I tell you at school, whoops are in a fall because if rain fall, my now we to cook. Because an outdoor kitchen and as and they make out of wood and bamboo and a dirt floor. So as soon as the rain start fall, all well, in the wet up and because a dirt floor you get mucky and slippery and enough time mother almost drop in there. And she have a bad foot so if she drop in no good fear. See a that as soon as the place black up, mother run go cook. No matter how early be. If I have a twelve o'clock, she run go cook. So because of that sometimes go to bed without dinner. Because rain falls so she couldn't get to cook. So if that happened and she have sweetie, she give her sweetie and say, suck on this till tomorrow. If that not happen, and she have a little sugar she give you and make 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 sugar and water and go out of bed. I have a bad foot. Um I was in grade six and I was to graduate next year and this year I took sick and I spent nine months and three weeks in the hospital. I was in a wheelchair, I leave from a wheelchair to the two walking stick and then I start after, I start physiotherapy and start walking and walking without the sticks. But now I was walking much, I was much leaner, lean to one side than I am right now. So it kind of affect my back. So more time my back hurt real bad. Sometimes the foot swell. I can't put it on the ground. Not in any shoes. After I'm all two or three months when I eat meat. Sometimes mother cook food, she just fry up onion and garlic and I fry meat that. Other time, time she steam rice, she give, she give it with bun oil. But I don't make it bother me, because I know that she doesn't have it. So I have to do my best at school and come, come take her out of the circumstances. Then.
-hmm. I've known Delana Tucker for five years. I taught him in grade seven as a grade coordinator for grade eight during those times. I made sure I met Delano and I know so much more about him. I realized that Delano is having serious financial challenges. As a grade, we assisted him and then Delano, Delano went on to grade nine where he's now passed on to the other coordinators. But Delano continued with me as an agricultural science teacher. When it was time to do CSEC examination, Delano showed interest in my subject and of course, I know that Delano would do well. And he did well. He got one for Agricultural Science Double Award and with straight A profile. An excellent student. But when we were doing the business plan, usually before the lockdown, the students would come to the Home Economics Lab at school and they'll prepare their different products and so on. This time the students were asked to take, because they slaughtered their meat, their chicken, they would take the part of the chicken they need to create their business plan. Then Anna was interested in making chicken foot soup. And all the students, you know, students, everybody know they were, when they send their pictures, they were cooking their stuff on the gas stove using their blenders and so on. And when Delana was sending his pictures, Delana was cooking in his outside kitchen. And I cried. I went to the vice principal first. I showed her the pictures. I called the moderator and I said, Do you, are you sure I can use these pictures in my student SBA? She said, yes. He was in his outside kitchen. Yes, on the wood fire cooking his soup. When it was time for him to present his soup, I'm looking out to say, okay, I'm gonna get a nice glass bowl. The learner chose his best bowl, a plastic bowl, out of what he have at home to do his final presentation. The soup was looking delicious, but when I look at the effort and everything that that child put in, I said, God, you must bless this child because he never complained to say, miss, we don't have this or that. You could see Delana there fanning that fire and cooking his soup with joy because he really, really wanted to achieve and to achieve well. The rainwater we use to wash, cook and bathe, but like in a dry time in time, rain half hour so often, we use the local rainwater we have to cook and we go to the river for water, for wash and bathe. Delano Tucker is a determined and dedicated student. I've known him for over 10 years. We went to the same primary school and we are in most classes at high school now. I know that he has to walk to school every morning and with that, some of the time, he's the first one here as a student on the compound and he's always early. He's also very hardworking and he's he always eager to learn. Whenever other students would be in class talking, Delana would be seated in his book, um, focused and sharing information with others and trying to help other students reach to their goals. He's a gem. He's an exceptional child because he's the only student out of all my students who are proud to be able to make their soup in his wood fire kitchen, smelling and happy because he knows that he wants to achieve everything in life. When school they lock the online class, they really have it hard because we never have no resources or no device. So my mother come up here and talk to the principal and the principal give her a go ahead so I come up here and school lend me a device. But the device that school lend me was a old model tablet so I could go and Google Meet. So I used to have to just read it, but the teacher I'm posting in the classroom and hopes there's enough information in there so I forget the exam I can pass. Then I get a new model tablet to borrow and I could go up on Google Meet. But when I finally end up to go up on Google Meet, enough time I can't hear the teacher say because the connection is bad. So enough time is like, Miss, what you say, Miss? Miss, you have broke up, Miss. And the teacher will be like, I have internet there now. I say, Miss, I understand, Miss. You can record the meet so I can watch it later. And the teacher will record it and, and post it in the classroom. But sometimes, I don't have the internet to watch it. Sometimes, the government will go ahead for school and back. I'm really glad because I do some learn more, most of them will learn. Because enough time, I don't understand what I'm going online. Because majority of the time, I don't in the class because I get kicked out. So, say, call out. The teacher will teach something and I get kicked out of it and then I come back to teach them something else. So because of that, learning online did hard. 
So how do you feel with, with all of this Delan is still performing in school? I can say he has learned how to pull through hard, hard times. Sometimes it troubles him real bad and another time is a, is as if as if nothing is wrong. Are you proud of Delano? Very, very much. Okay, I'm proud of. Proud of them both. I see him as a very responsible person and in the next five years he said, Mommy, if you want if you're that woman you wanna leave from here so go out again, just call me. I me drive you there. And I'm gonna make you eat eat three different meat one one time. I mean, I mean, I'm not going to make you, you in need of anything because you take the best care of me and my sister. There was a particular day we were slaughtering chickens on the school farm because his younger sister, she's coming to the school as well. And I, we were down there for very long and apparently she couldn't see me and she came down. And she came down with a bag of crackers and they stepped aside and I observed them. And she shared it with him and they came back. And we finished late that evening. And so when I came up, I said, De Delano, because he walks to school every day, but he's always early. I said, Delano, you're not going to walk home this evening. You're going to take taxi and go home now with your sister. He's such a beautiful child. I want Delano to continue to do well. And I know that with his, de his determination, nothing is going to stop him because he's such an excellent student. And Delano, I'm telling you that if you continue on this path, you're going to be unstoppable. And I'm feeling proud because the future of our nation rests in a young man's hands like yours, and I applaud you. I would like to thank my neighbor, Robbie, for giving us electricity. If we give electricity, we usually have to do what we had to do quick and work going. Because before that, we had to use kerosene lamp for studying, which is very hard. And for devices, we had to charge them on the road. So I, would, so I don't know how I would manage in online time because by weekend devices are dead. So like online Saturday class, I would not be able to attend. You know, the connection we have to your outside world on battery radio, and battery gear. So enough time we don't hear nothing. And when we can't connects. school, me and my friend and my talk about what they hear for news. I mean, I say, really, are that going? But I don't make it bother me. All right, my name is Robert. I live across from the Tuckers. The family normally come over and watch TV and also to charge their phone. Sometimes I work out and sometimes I'm not coming back for about a week. Yeah, man, so some of the time I tell the truth, I feel sorry for them because I know that so their phone can't get charged on them way, you know? So I decide to give them some electricity that they can charge their phone and use bulb instead of the kerosene lamp on them way, you know? Mommy, what role does Delano's father play in his life? He's a very trying man, very trying. He tries his best to let them have what they want most of the times because he's not working right now and he doesn't have the cash to give them what they want. A lot of times I'm brought to tears because I cannot provide for my children and sometimes when they ask me for things, I just tell them, say, we we'll soon get it. And sometimes some from somewhere out of nowhere, somebody call me and say, come for your package. Even the church, the church help a lot. Sometimes they just call and say, come for your little thing. And so at his C-sex subject, Delana got all of his subjects ones, twos and threes. For the agriculture, it's a double hour, so that's two subjects, Delano, you have nine subjects in all. I continue to encourage you to do well. You are now in sixth form, and I know that you're going to do exceptionally well. You're such an excellent child, my son. Upon completing sixth form, I would like to attend the College of Agriculture, Science and Education to further my studies to become an agricultural inspector and I will gladly appreciate any help to fulfill this dream.